An American veteran, a Marine, now engaged in another kind of fight for the freedom of North Korea, is in legal jeopardy tonight. And also tonight, some who know what he's facing worry his life may also be in danger. Senior correspondent Eric Sean has details. He is a U.S. Marine who could be executed by Kim Jong-un, say his supporters, if the Biden administration continues to try and extradite him. Christopher Ahn, who served in Iraq, faces charges in Spain that he broke into the North Korean embassy in Madrid two years ago, and Spanish authorities want him back. They've told me that that danger is here in the United States, and that, that, that danger exponentially increases uh, if I leave the country. And the same, the same Department of Justice that has told me that if I leave the country that I could be assassinated is the same Department of Justice that's trying to extradite me. So yes, I mean, the, the fear is there. Chris says he was invited in as part of a plan by his anti-regime activist group, Free Joe San, or Free North Korea, to help Kim Jong-un's ambassador to Spain defect, but the diplomat changed his mind. They may be North Korean, but they're parents and, and they, they love their children and, and they've been fed lies their entire life. And they come to uh, a Western country and they realize that everything that they've been told are lies. At court, to show their support, the parents of Otto Warmbier, the 22-year-old college student falsely arrested, tortured, and sent home to die by Kim's regime in 2017. In an emotional plea that brought spectators to tears, Mrs. Warmbier told the court, quote, No one ever stands up to North Korea while I am standing up to North Korea. I am standing up for Chris Ahn, a good man. The U.S. government's trying to extradite me, and it's very disappointing that that's what they want to do, quite frankly. But I also have trust in the American government. I have, I have trust in the American system. And quite frankly, I have trust in the American people. Well, the U.S. magistrate, Gene Rosenbluth, is expected to issue a decision on An's extradition sometime in the next few weeks. Brett. Eric, thanks. We'll follow it.